Alright guys, so today I want to talk about the collider delay and reverb. So I got this delay and reverb pedal because I, one, didn't have the budget for both a delay and a reverb. And number two, I did a lot of research on it and I really like the features this has. So I just kind of want to go over it real quick. So in a nutshell, this is delay and a reverb combined and allows you to run in series or parallel. And that was a big deal because I'm running a single Tonex uh, pedal rig right now. And the fact that I can run it in stereo without having to have stereo amps. So what I mean by that is you can run a delay straight in mono like normal, or you can actually combine it. Um, you can turn it into a stereo signal, like a true, a true stereo. And I like the fact that even better than that, I can run the delay and reverb in parallel. And that's huge because I love to run my delays and reverbs in parallel because I like the cleanliness of having them separated. So anyways, let's get right into it. This pedal on the left side has the delay and on the right side it has the reverb and for this particular demo I'm going to emphasize the, the delay and then I'll go back in another video and emphasize the reverb. So as you can see here left side we got delay and you can choose between the quarter, dotted quarter and the triplet and then it also has the capabilities with an app uh, and the computer software to uh, have even more rhythm, out, uh, more rhythm choices for the algorithm. And then we have, was it, uh, two, four, five, I think, five different delay types. So we have the oil can, the reverse, the tape, the analog, and the digital. So quite a bit of variety. Uh, all the stuff that you really need. I mean, if you can't make these algorithms work for delay, you might just be a little bit overcomplicated. Now again, everyone's taste is different, but you can get pretty cool with this. So anyways, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and just cut this unit on and just see what it sounds like. This knob on the bottom uh, here controls the ability to switch between reverb and delay or just lock the pedal. So we're gonna click over to delay and now these knobs work for delay. So we'll turn the mix up here and let's see. And let's turn it on. So I'm gonna do a quick loop. I'm gonna play a loop just so we can hear the different types of delay going on here. As you can hear the different types of delay, um, I like analog and tape the best. Analog I love just because it's really warm and it tucks underneath the sound. And then tape is really nice if you want it to stick out. Um, a lot of people love tape delays, I tend to be on the analog side. Uh, but all the delays sound great, the digital is nice and crystal clear, and the reverse and oil can do what they do. The oil can being like a kind of metallic sound, which is cool. Uh, so you just pick which one you like and then use it. Uh, analog, I said analog and tape were my top two. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the analog. I just really enjoy how it tucks underneath the sound. It really just tucks under the chords. The tape is really nice if you want that more obvious delay tone. So uh, I like them all.
So one nice touch is even though the app is made to dive into deeper parameters, they actually give you hardware key inputs to access it if you don't want to cook it up to an app. So um, by holding this button back here and using the delay pedal, I can actually change the stereo. So I really like that. So I don't have to actually dive into the app if I don't want to. And of course we can also set presets just by holding. Uh, we simply select the spot and hold down to save. That's pretty simple. Uh, it's got the tap tempo built in. So as far as the controls are pretty simple. We have the delay knob, which lets know the time. But of course I just use the tap tempo, but you can use it manually just by adjusting the delay. Um, and then we've got the feedback, which of course tells us how many repeats we're gonna get. So the higher up that is, um, the more feedback we get. The tone is like the EQ on it. So as you can hear, it's really bright repeats. It's got like a, a low pass on there or a high pass on there. And then we've got the low pass on there. So you can shape the sound of the, e, of the delay if you want it warmer, or brighter. And then we have the control one. Now control one and control two do different things depending on which delay you're on. So let's just give control one a go. I want to say for the delays, control one and control two is the modulation and the flutter. So if we go ahead and crank both of these, we should hear some differences in the delays. Yeah. So you can hear the modulation there. And then the one's depth. Yep. Okay, so control two is the rate. So it went, it, obviously if it's set to low, it means the slow rate of modulation. And all the way to the right means really fast. And then control one is how much modulation. So you can go in the middle for here. So really cool. Anyway, so you can see the options are pretty cool there. And this is all strictly delay. We haven't even touched the reverb. Um, I really love the reverb on this unit, but again, I'll do that in a different video. But I just want to give you a quick overview. I love this delay pedal. I thought I'd want separate delay pedals and reverb pedals. But after this one, it's changed my mind. I love the convenience of the fact that I get all this in one pedal. And I get to run it in parallel instead of series. And essentially what that means is, rather than having the delay run into the reverb or the reverb run into delay as a single line, you operate them parallel. And that just gives you complete control over the wet dry. And that's how you can get really crystal clear um, repeats without having to be diluted in reverb. Now, one is not better than the other, it's just preference. I like to have my reverb, I like to have my delays not saturated by the reverb because that makes them stick out really well. Um, especially because my favorite delay is analog. Analog is already warm and undertone. So, um, that's why I like that. So all in all, the delays here are sick. I don't see myself getting another delay pedal for a while. Uh, this handles all the needs. The fact that I can use it for analog, tape, delay, reverse, whatever, and I can go back between parallel and series. And I can do all just from, I, th I originally thought you had to do it just from the app, but I can do all this from the pedal itself. I like it. The fact I can go mono and stereo. Uh, you got control over modulation and the modulation depth, as well as the EQ. So, I mean, for 99% of your delay, you know, needs, I think this handles it very, very well for like all your bread and butter. I might get a separate delay pedal in the future that's kind of maybe just dedicated to doing more ambient, crazy experimental stuff, but I don't really do that too much. And I find that the combination of this and the reverb does what I want as far as getting the tones that I want. So I highly recommend checking out this pedal if you haven't. Uh, I definitely think it's worth a buy. Uh, source audio is killing. I really love this pedal. 
and I highly recommend it. So if you're looking for a delay and a reverb, I know I didn't review the reverb side yet, but if you're looking for a delay and reverb, definitely check this out. I think this fits the bill, and I'll see you guys in the next video.